Hey everybody, welcome back. We're Grace and Amelia, and we're full-time investors from the great state of Iowa. Today, we're gonna to talk about diversifying your income on a multifamily property, specifically through the use of midterm rentals and short-term rentals. And if you like what we have to say, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to this channel and follow Grace and I on Instagram, Amelia jo REI and Grace.investing. I've got to see Amelia since this summer, buy her 11 unit in Des Moines and do the whole furnished monthly travel nursing thing. So that fast forward a few months, when I saw this eight unit that was near some hospitals in my market in Cedar Rapids, I was super excited because I knew I could apply the same thing. And now that's what we're, that's what I'm doing in that unit. And it's really cool because we're both pretty much doing the same thing in two different markets. And it's really exciting too, because this morning while we were together working Grace got a lease signed for her very first midterm rental and I signed another lease for a traveling nurse at mm -hmm. one of my midterm rentals. So that was just kind of exciting to share together. That was fun. I want to give you a real life example of how this worked for me in Des Moines. So at my 11 unit property, I was looking at the location. It's only 10 minutes from the airport. It's two minutes from downtown, which has four hospitals. And the units are very small, so I knew I would be able to furnish them on a budget. It cost me about $1,500 to finish, furnish each unit, and I found a lot of the furniture off of Facebook Marketplace and Craigslist. And I get about $1,200 a month for each of my furnished units. Unfurnished with a long-term tenant, I would only get about $700 a month. So it really added value to the property mm -hmm. now that I have three short-term rental properties that are netting me about $1,500 more per month. So for my property in Cedar Rapids, it's very close to downtown. It's very close to hospitals. It's going to take a couple thousand to furnish it and a couple thousand to get them fixed up, which we need to fix them up anyways. And a long-term tenant would be $525. And I just rented out, like we said, got my first lease for $925. It just goes to show how much value add mm -hmm. can come with diversifying your units at a multifamily property. Right. So the way that this strategy diversifies your income at a multifamily property is eight of the units at my 11 unit are still long-term tenants. Mm -hmm. So I have the stability of their monthly income, but I have a little, little bit of playroom with those three mid short-term rentals. And it gives me the opportunity to make more money off right. of those units. High risk, high reward, but you're obviously starting with just three, seeing how it goes. And like you said, you like to keep that stability with the other units staying long-term. Worst case scenario, if I can't fill the units with month-to-month -month traveling business professionals, I'll turn them into Airbnb properties and rent mm -hmm. them out nightly, or I'll get rid of the furniture and turn them back into long-term rentals. All right, now four ways you can decide if your property will work for a midterm rental. Number one is location of the city. And what I mean by that is, does your city need short-term housing? Number two, proximity to amenities. Is it close to hospitals, airports, or other business industries? Number three, research competition in the area. Look on Airbnb, look on furnished finders. Are there already other mm -hmm. furnished rentals in the area? Generally, that's a good sign that they're needed. And number four, Try it out before you go all in. We both were able to do one unit first, test it out to see if it was gonna work. We saw that it did. So now we're moving on with more. So Amelia, I've had a few questions I've been saving to ask you since you've done this before, and I'm just gonna get right into it. What are you seeing for utilities in your studio apartments, including like Wi-Fi and anything that wouldn't be long-term? It's a little bit unique with my 11 unit because all of the utilities are on one meter anyways. So it's really a wash either way. Okay. Um, I'm paying about 500 a month for water for the entire facility and about 500 for electric. I do have the added cost of Wi-Fi, but it's really nice because... The Wi-Fi router is around $80 a month, but it services two of my units. So oh, good. that was going to be one of my questions. Are they sharing the Wi-Fi? Yes. So two of my units share the Wi-Fi and one of the units has their own Wi-Fi because of the location. They're too far away from mm -hmm. each other. To gotcha. Share. And so what are you doing for a security deposit? Are you taking the typical one month rent? 
I don't take the one month rent. I actually only take $500 because they are traveling nurses a lot of the time or traveling business professionals. Mm -hmm. And I just feel like 500 is more fair. They're probably not going to destroy the property. So it just makes it a little bit easier on them. Okay, a couple more. So do you prorate to the week? Or are you sticking like if they move on the 17th, it's the 17th through the 17th? So I've done it a few different ways. I have prorated it, but I've started to do it where they just pay three months each month they're responsible, whether or not they stay for the whole month. Their lease is month to month, but it's a minimum stay of three full months. Oh, okay. Will you convert any more of those three or do you feel like you're at a happy medium with three midterms? I feel like I would possibly convert one, possibly two more. But at that point, I don't want to oversaturate the market. And so at this point, maybe one or two more. Gotcha. Well, thanks for answering my question. Yeah. <laughs> for short-term rental information, Tony J. Robinson is doing a 10-week boot camp starting January 2022. And he's going to go over everything STR, including finding, funding, and analyzing. So for more information on that bootcamp, go to biggerpockets.com slash bootcamp. So we are still new to this process. We've been learning as we go. So we would love to help answer any questions that you might have. So make sure you comment down below with any questions. Yep. And make sure to like, subscribe, and of course, follow us on Instagram, Grace.investing and Amelia Joe REI. Bye guys.